Okay, welcome back to my Catalina 27 channel. I'm quite busy these days, so I'm gonna try and get through this in a one take wonder. So here's the exhaust that was on my 1984 M18 diesel. So if someone's changed this originally probably, or from original to this Yanmar riser and mixing elbow. So it came with a 3 8 by 5 8 nipple to inject the cooling water into the exhaust. But I wanted to add four inches to this section here to use up all the available space and make it taller so that it's a little higher above the water line while I was in there changing it anyway. That's what I thought I'd do. However, I couldn't find the information and I went, I heated this up to take this off not knowing it was left-handed thread. So I just stripped it. It just spins now. And uh, what a bummer. But anyway, it's, it's kind of old. It's not really clogged up. I don't know if you can see in there, but uh, it's not, I can show you. It's not a big deal to change it anyway. So while I was in there, this looks pretty, pretty nasty in there though. So it's probably a good idea to change it. It's unknown age. They're only like a hundred and some dollars. I got this one for a hundred bucks from basic, basic power industries. They're in uh, North Carolina. I got this one shipped to me for $129.95. However, it did not come with this fitting, which they used to always do. I believe this is stainless steel, left-hand thread to right-hand thread nipple, so that when you tighten this up, you can tighten it up without on both ends without, without, chain, without holding or changing the adjustment. So the, the alignment stays the same. You just turn this nut and it cinches them both up. No big deal. So anyway, I had to get a new one of these. So I got that and then I thought, oh, I'll get the Street 90 and get, and, and get rid of one fitting. However, that's a problem as well because when you screw in the Street 90 into your flange, you find that it has an overlap, so it's actually restricting the uh, exhaust gases, the, restricting the flow. So I chamfered it out, but uh, it didn't really change enough. So use Schedule 40 black fittings, as Schedule 80 will likely increase back pressure above the 1.5 psi limit described in the Westerbeek installation bible that really is the best laid out comprehensive guide to marine engine systems installation and requirements from mounting to shafts to fuel exhaust and cooling as well as electrical and transmissions there's even a section on water heaters simply a must read before attempting any repairs in the engine compartment it's an especially effective weapon against the ever-present previous owners and all their bullshit they left behind link in the description below now back to my own brand of bullshit. That way. So this is right hand threads here, but these are left handed threads. So I went down to Smarr's Den, which is in Gardena, and I bought, let's see, the uh, black right and left nipple for fourteen dollars and eight cents so that worked out all right and then the original 90 one inch and a quarter inch and a half 90 was 27.86 which i thought was kind of expensive but it's ward brand so it should be okay it should be quite nice and not likely to break because changing this in the boat's a pain in the ass and then a black inch and a quarter nipple 
to go between the 90 and the flange. So that's that. So I've got the right and left four inch nipple. I actually tagged it so I know which side is the left hand thread. So that threads into there. Backwards. So that'll go in there. That'll go in there. This will go in here. And then that all fits together like so. Boom. So there it is. There's my riser. It'll kind of sit, actually sit like this. But there's my riser with the extra four inches. And it still gives me about, I don't know, about an inch and a half top clearance as well. So I can just screw in my 3 8 NPT by 5 8 nipple in there. It's all, it's all new except for the flange, which is in perfect shape anyway. However, I do think I'm going to chamfer this a little bit because if you look inside here when this is all the way down light it's pretty smooth but it could be a little smoother so especially at the bottom there so I'm going to chamfer that a little bit with my die grinder with a sanding disc. Excuse the shake, oh. but uh, this is all one take, so let's see how I can get this on the video in one go. Let's zoom in. Voila. Take this off. Take this off. I'm going to put it in here to hold it. It's going to get loud. Can I see it? Yeah. just a little bit I figure any reduction of back pressure is good so that takes care of that let's go back to the bench Right on. So, that's my setup. There's my nipple. Anyway, hang on. Looks like I'm not going to do this in one take, but close enough. So that'll fit like that. That'll fit like that. And I'll tighten this up because I know that on the M18, this is pretty much square as far as it's just straight up at 90 degrees. And as long as this single bolt at the bottom of the flange just pointing straight down there's actually a line on the nipple so 
so you can pretty much get that perfect and I'll just tighten up the center with a uh, with pipe wrench right here with the pipe wrench and I'll get that all keep that all nice and square I'll probably do it on that side there and then that'll be fine the hose goes here two inch hose two inch inside diameter exhaust hose to my water trap Vetus LP50 um, muffler setup and that's pretty much it except for the appropriate pipe thread compound I'm using the Harvey TFE paste it's white slow setting and it says here on the label that when used with gases it withstands up 3,000 psi at temperatures from minus 50 to plus 400 degrees Fahrenheit and with liquids it withstands 10,000 psi at temperatures from minus 50 to plus 500 it says use on water steam natural and LP gas oils fuels and dilute acids and that's key because when the exhaust gases mix with the salt water at temperature it can produce some acidic compounds and it's critical that the pipes thread sealing is tolerant of those conditions it's critical that you use the right compound especially if you ever want to take this stuff apart again there's other brands out there the Oatly and uh, Hercules I think but just make sure that they meet the temperature requirements and you should be good to go I'm going to assemble the whole thing tighten it up get it all to my liking and then I will clean it all off and then paint the thing as one assembly too easy so there you go the M18 universal diesel um, these are available if you need a new flange I don't know if I said it in the last video but you can get these at uh, for like a hundred bucks a little over a hundred bucks at Catalina Direct they're still available and then you saw the prices for this stuff and that's it thanks for watching have fun see you next time thanks for stopping by now get out <laughs>